to build a simple yet effective siege engine, then you've come to the right place. I present to you the Popsicle Stick Catapult. While this only uses a very few simple household materials and a very simple design, you'll be storming the castle in no time with this catapult. I'll show you guys first how to build it, and then I'll show you a little demonstration afterwards. First, make sure that you have all of your materials available to you. We are going to need 10 popsicle sticks, five rubber bands, and one plastic spoon or spoon that you'd like to attach to this, and that's it. For the first step, take two of your popsicle sticks and set them aside for now. Now with the other eight popsicle sticks we have, you are going to stack them all on top of each other. Once you have them all together, take a rubber band and put it around each end of the stack of popsicle sticks. You'll need to do this a couple times. Make sure that the popsicle sticks stay nice and together. Repeat for the other side. After we've put the popsicle sticks together with the rubber bands on each end, we are now going to take one of the popsicle sticks we stuck off to the side we are going to slide it in between one of the sets of popsicle sticks. You want to do it either at the very top or at the very bottom. Whichever side you pick is going to become the bottom. So you'll have to use a little bit of force to do it. But once you slide it through, you should be good. Get it to around halfway, maybe a little, little bit less than that. You can adjust this later if you'd like to. Next, we are going to attach the popsicle stick and the spoon using a couple rubber bands. Put the spoon on top of the popsicle stick. Once you have it where you want it, take a rubber band, put it around and begin to wrap it around the two together multiple times to keep it in place. You will do one here near the top then you use the other rubber band down here near the bottom to keep this end from moving. The catapult arm is now ready. For the last step, we're going to be putting these two pieces together. The shorter side is going to be the front end of the catapult. And what you're going to do is line these two popsicle sticks together at the front. With them lined together at the front, use your last rubber band and wrap it around the front of this multiple times. At this point, we are now complete and we can go ahead and test it. Now it's time for a demonstration. One thing I'll note is that you can actually mess around with this catapult. So we have the stack of popsicle sticks here, and if you notice, I have it way more forward than I had it when I first made it. This is because you're allowed to move this around to wherever you want. If you move it further back like I had when I first made it, this will make it so it is a higher launch angle, but it doesn't go as far. If you want to get more distance but a lower launch angle, then move the popsicle stick stack closer to the front here by the rubber band. So I will put it where I want it, put my projectile into the spoon, pull down the catapult with my left hand, and then with my right hand, pull back on the spoon, and then to launch, just let go with your right hand. There we go, we landed all the way back over here by the end of the wall, and in fact we hit the wall right before coming down. So we're able to get some pretty good distance with this. Of course, make sure you use it responsibly. Well, that is it for today's demonstration. So I hope you guys enjoyed making your catapults, use them to your heart's desire, and of course, make sure to stay safe when you're using them.